Warning. The following contains content that are currently beyond the understanding of conventional science. Please proceed further only with an open mind. Here's a continuation of the story shared in episode 1. You catch episode 1 if you missed it to get some context. A particular energy cleansing and recharge session where I oscillated and basically felt energy tangibly. I was totally sold. The point that this spiritual teacher of my bosses actually does live readings. Like you go to her and she can basically read your future. Tell you what to take note of, tell you what to improve, tell you what to avoid. A friend and I decided to, hey, you know, just give it a try and experience it. Then came the actual consultation day. So you know, like most feng shui readings, they'll probably ask for your date of birth and plus your time of birth. But for this, she didn't ask for any of this. I mean, I did give my birth date, but just as a formality. I went into the consultation room, which looked exactly like this. And the moment I sat down on the chair, she just started to do the reading. About who I was as a person, which was very accurate. And she shared about my future potential. I shared about one of my troubles, which was super accurate, that I never really voiced it out to anyone before, which is that I worked very hard at what I was doing. I was doing sales back then. However, no matter how hard I worked, I worked harder than my peers. However, my results would be a lot less than them. The level of network that I connected to were just not at the same level as, as theirs. The reason why was because my energy levels were very low. Although all my qualities are good, but my energy level is very low, so I don't have enough luck, and hence why I'm not able to attract opportunities and connections to me. Give me an image makeover. When I first met her, I was looking like this. My specs were different, my hair was gelled out very high, and I used to wear these t shirts that were very dark in color, and I always wore this, like, you know, chain thingy on my neck. She told me that instead I should comb my hair to the side, not so high, make sure the sideburns are always kept short. I was to wear light coloured shirts and not dark coloured. And my spectacles are to change to something that has a larger frame. The lens, sorry. I did the change, it just totally brought out my aura. My more important thing was that she also told me not to get a girlfriend that year. It wasn't at the start. However, things eventually happened towards the end of the year, I got into a relationship. And it really ended pretty badly as she had predicted. To the issue about me being low in energy and hence low in luck, I actually asked her, how do I solve it? She told me that I needed to do an energy ritual to boost my energy levels. This is for the next episode.